What's up guys, Marco here from Crypto Mining Lab. Uh, just wanna give you a little bit of an update on Bitmain's new product, which is uh, they're gonna be announcing in the coming days. Uh, so as you can see on the screen here, it's about K KDA Miner. So it was about time one of the uh, big players in ASIC industry to, you know, to step forward and take share of the market, which was held by mostly <coughs> gold shells. So as you can see here, they're announcing their new ASIC miner mining KDA. Uh, the algorithm is Blake 2S algorithm. And as you can see, the, na the name is the KA3. And they didn't reveal the exact numbers, but you know, we can have a guess here, I, I would say, <clears throat> because the, you know, the latest uh, model from, K uh, from Gold Shell is uh, basically running at 40 terahash the KD, uh, KD Max. So I would say this one is gonna be uh, doing around 106 terahash. Power consumption is something around 3,300 to 3,500. And the uh, the efficiency is gonna be around, uh, I would say uh, around the 50s. So uh, as you can see, they are, th this is on their main website and this is on their Twitter and the they, they will have you know they're holding an event for launching their you know and discussing their new product online which will be uh on this uh, september the 13th 10 a.m not sure what time is this et but uh they're gonna be announcing and a lot of people are gonna be joining there including the uh the developers of kda uh the kadena uh, developers here as well as Antpo, as you can see here, so basically Antpo is going to be adding KDA for to the to their pool for mining. We have the founder of Kadena Mining Club and the Antpo representatives, as well as the uh, guys from uh, Bitmain. So this is going to change a little bit the market, especially when it comes to uh, you know Kadena miners. As I mentioned earlier, most most of the market was, uh, you know, the majority of the market, the, the shares were, were just held by two uh, manufacturers, but mostly uh, gold shell. But, and the reason why they could achieve this, I, th I think a lot of people don't know that, but basically gold shell wasn't using any, in a particular chip that was like really a uh, high tech chip, like latest models, uh, like seven millimeters or, you know, not nanometers, so, sorry or five nanometers chips. They were just using some some old chips, you know, that, that's why they, you know, they couldn't push the uh, hash rate higher and the power consumption, you know, was okay. But if you compare this to, you know, Gold Shell latest uh, KD Max model, this is huge difference. This is more than double whatever, you know, the KD Max was doing at almost the same, you know, efficiency. So. It's something to look, you know, into, and if you guys are interested, you can maybe you, you can watch the event online, since uh, they're gonna be announcing that in, in in a couple of days. So just wanna give you guys a little bit of an update, especially especially for people that you know are mining KDA or want to get into KDA mining. So this is gonna be uh, interesting to see, especially uh, you know with the latest price from Bitmain. If you compare, you know, if you see the price for the change, their prices for, you know, especially like the, the L7, which was very expensive and they dropped the prices. So as you can see here, so I would, I would say they will do the same. So gold shell will have a lot of competition, especially when it comes, you know, to pricing and and miner, you know, they're, they're a big player in the industry. You know, they, they are the largest manufacturer for ASIC miners. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, just want to give you a little, a little bit of an update. Hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed this, and uh, see you in the next one.